Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to our AutoCAD tutorials. So on today's video, it's an update of the uh, annotations and dimensions because it was brought to my attention that that video has a bit of a glitch. So I'm just going to try and go over it again. Um, firstly, I'm going to show you the first method you can use to insert your text. The most easiest method is by using your single line text over here. And then method number two I'm going to show you is when you want to annotate. And that is essentially where you want all your text and all your dimensions to have the same uniform size and dimension. And you don't want to keep um, um, specifying its size as you move along. All right. So method number one, you type in the text command, single line. It says specify first point. Then you can specify height of about 250. It works. You can say 250 enter then specify rotation angle zero it's fine then you type start on start typing so we can say engineering drawing two enter enter then our command is done that that is the text we essentially just worked with okay that is the text we just worked with so you notice that uh, relative to the house or the floor plan that we just drew the text actually works so if you do not wish to go through the stress of setting your annotations and whatnot then this method could work for you okay the thing about AutoCAD or any computer software or computer aided drawings is that you're able to pick All right, sorry about that. So the thing about your computer aided um, software or drawing programs is that you're able to pick a method that works for you. There are like a million ways to kill a cat. It just depends which one you're most comfortable with. All right, so just make sure that on all your drawings or on all the different parts of the drawing you've drawn, you have a label for the drawing. So this is our floor plan can still say single text specify start point height 250 entire rotation angle then you can say floor plan enter scale 1 is 250 then enter twice all right and just make sure that on your drawing or on your paper somewhere there has to be your name or your student number or i won't know whose work i'm marking okay so once you've inserted the text once then you don't necessarily have to um try and s select your single line text again you can simply copy you can rotate it if you want to move it around it's completely up to you all right so I just want to show you how this looks on the layout. So remember on here, we had already set our scale in the previous video. Then we can just move it around to try and locate our drawing. The reason I'm not trying to zoom in and out is because we've already specified our scale. But since you know how to carry out the scale, even if you zoom it in or out, you wouldn't really, you wouldn't really be lost. You know how to get it back. All right. Then that is method number one. And I'm just trying to show you on here that it appears as well. You just need to, oops, I didn't double click. You just need to obviously make sure that you maneuver it the right way. Okay. If it doesn't fit on the screen, then it just says you need to move them slightly closer to the drawing so that they are visible. And if you come to the layout, it's all visible on here. Okay, that's method number one. Method number two is if you want to use the annotation, but with the annotation method is as you're working on it, it may look slightly small on the screen. Okay, so the annotation, you can use either this one here or this one here, annotate. So you can say annotate. The first one is for text. The second one is for dimensions. So text, you can click on the drop down, manage text styles. Then we're trying to come up with a new one. We already have annotative, we have standard. Those are the ones that will come with any drawing, but you want to make sure that you come up with your own ones. So you can say new, then we can call it drawing two. Then say, okay, font name, 
Hmm. Let's see. Can say Verdana should be fine. Um, re uh, font style you can say regular. Then height. Let's try to specify the same height that we were working with. So we can say two fifty and say annotative. This is because you wanted to keep the same text on both sides, like on your model space and on your layouts. Then you can leave the effects alone. Then you can say set current. Yes then it's already applied then you're gonna close it all right then if you want to enter your text use current it's gonna enter the current layer that's fine then it has essentially selected how your text will look you're creating an annotative object set the annotative scale to the scale at which the annotation is intended to display then we can leave it at one is to one specify start point rotation angle zero and then we can type here again engineering drawing to enter all right so what the annotation does for you it essentially removes that one step where you specify the height because for some people that step might be you know a bit too long when you don't really have time so you'll notice the only difference here between this text and that text is that this one is annotative that one is not but once you go to your layout I just want us to pan and find our text. Let's give it a chance. Our text is gone. Our text is gone. Hey, Rena, come out. <laughs> our text is gone. Hmm. That is weird. Annotative, annotative, yes. Oh, add scales to annotative objects. Okay, great. Show annotative objects at current scale. So you'll notice that that setting at the bottom was off. So if you've done any annotative objects and this is off, then obviously it won't show. Let's set our scale again because now our work is looking dodgy. One is to 50. Then let's pan it so we can show. Let's just move it a little bit so we can see the text we just added. Then you can then annotative object. It says show annotative. If this thing is grayed out, it will not show it. If you say show annotative object, then you'll notice that our annotative objects come up. If you toggle it off, it goes off. Toggle it on, it's on. All right. So that's essentially how you are going to do your annotative text. Then the same settings apply for your dimensions. You come to your dimensions, manage dimension style, set new. Um, we can also say drawing two. Start with ISO 25. You can set it annotative so you don't have to keep on um, showing your size. Used for all dimensions, then continue. Then on here, you want to modify it. Start with the lines, um, baseline spacing. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, fixed length, we can set that at like a 10. Okay, then symbols, arrows, and text. Arrow size, that's fine. Break size, that's fine. Then let's go to our text. Text height, then we can say 250. Or let's just make it a little bit smaller. Let's say 200. Um, above centered, left to right, that's fine. Then the fit um that's fine something doesn't look right something doesn't look right it looks a bit it looks a bit compacted i don't know could be me could it be me text text height it's not the text height is it it's not the text height maybe it's my eyes Offset from dimension line. Um, we can set this offset at five. Does it change much? Nope. Wait, we're still modifying you, Rena. Don't go away. Primary units, tolerances. Um, oh, precision decimal, then precision zero. We don't want too many numbers going on. Scale factor one. And that's it. 
that's essentially it with your annotative um, dimensions then you can set it current and close then when you do want to dimension dimension you can choose whether you're dimensioning from the corners or what just make sure that you extend it up dimension the window oops that is an angle just hover it there it's a thousand five hundred place it and from here again to the next window a thousand seven hundred from there to that window it's a 750 from there to the next window hey it did not start my dimension this is 2003 I don't know how accurate that is yeah that's not accurate it didn't start it right at the beginning at the beginning okay so if you make a mistake you can just stretch it to the correct one then it will correct your dimension um let's just continue with this line to this one should be 750 750 right now and it's not straight my work is dodgy please make don't make your work dodgy my work is the dodgiest. I don't know what setting I toggled off, but my lines are just not straight. And it's not looking cute. But anyway, that is essentially how you insert your dimensions, okay? So we can just move that or delete it. We don't need it. We don't need you. Go. Shop. And that's essentially how you go along with it. Linear dimension on here, you can select what type of dimensions you're trying to come up with, whether it's linear, angular, or it's a radius, or it's a diameter, how you go about it, you can essentially specify on your own. Then you have your dimension on there, and another dimension on there. So just make sure that you have, a, like you can never have too many dimensions. It's better to be over-dimensioned than under-dimensioned. Okay, and that's essentially how you go about inserting your text and your dimensions and whether you want to use annotative or not. Just remember, if you're using the annotative scale, then once you get to your layout, that must be on so that it shows your work. If it's off, you'll notice that it takes all my dimensions and my text away. If it's on, everything comes back. So it just depends on how you want to do your work and how much how much you're willing to remember because it's very easy to forget anything at all if you have any questions you know what to do adios